Now, you're listed on the roster as Joseph. Do you go by Joe? Yeah, Joe. Joe, yeah. okay. Yeah. Can you just pronounce your last name for me? Uh, Van Doren. Van Doren. Yeah. And your hometown? Uh, Hama, okay. Belgium. <laughs> kind of weird. We see ham. Yeah, I know. Yeah, ham. From the ham. Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's just, you know, start off. You know, we were talking about what brought you to Auburn all the way from Belgium. Yeah. Does you, can you rehash that for me? Um, so there was a former uh, Auburn tennis player, uh, Robert, um, and he just finished three years before I came here, and he kind of advised me to come here um, as well. They recruited me, um, but he kind of made me take the jump and come to Auburn. Because of that, you know, you're half a world away from your hometown. Yeah. So when you know you heard the news that there had been a, a terrorist attack, yeah. describe those, those first few moments for me. Well, um, actually, my um, family um, contacted me right when it happened, so I kind of knew it like 15 minutes after. Uh, and I stayed up the whole night just checking up on my family. Um, and luckily, they, they weren't near. Um, the only one that was near was my brother. Uh, he was in Brussels. He was in lockdown in a building where he was working. Um, but he got back home to that, that day safe, like home, and he was not allowed to go back for another two days to go to work. Hey, this is pretty rare for Belgium. I mean, it's a pretty peaceful country. Yeah, um, I don't think we've had anything like this ever before. And then especially since it's been at the airport and the metro station, it was like multiple attacks. So, yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, it, it's probably the only thing that I can compare it to in my lifetime would be 9-11. Yeah. You know, for an attack on my home country. Yeah. Now that it's been a week, I mean, how do you feel about what transpired? I mean, it's just unfortunate because it, it kind of res represents the Muslims as a whole, which is, it's not them. It's just like a few extremists and um, they're just brainwashed basically. And then that res represents the whole Muslim uh, society as a whole. And we have a lot of Muslims in our country and they're peaceful. So I think it's just unfortunate. And how do you focus on tennis? You know, I guess last week especially. Yeah, uh, I mean it's hard, but um, I didn't have to play since I'm injured, um, so I didn't really have that in my mind. Um, but it, it's not easy. It's just, it's a shock basically. Yeah. How how should Belgium respond to this? Whew. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. I think they, first of all, like there's communication problems. Like um, the guys that did the Paris attack um, got into Belgium without the authorities of um, the French communicating with the Belgians. And they now made an agreement that they can talk to each other so that um, at least they know who's coming into the country and who's not, which is going to be very important. I think that's the first step to do is the communication between the different countries in the Euro in the United States in the in Europe. How should the people of Belgium? I mean, how how do you bounce back from something like this? I mean, I think they did well because they kind of came together as a whole in Brussels and prayed for the people. Um, and I don't think they should fear them, but embrace it more. Um, yeah, I don't think we should fear them because that gives them hope. I've never been to Europe. Um, but I imagine, you know, it's, it's a little different than it is over here. You know, we've got the United States, which is such a massive yeah. country. But over there, it's, it's, it's a lot of smaller countries. Yeah. But what's the climate like? I mean, from talking to your family, maybe, I don't know when the last time you went home was, but, you know, what, what does it feel like over there with all these t terrorist attacks? I mean, I talked to my friends a little, and obviously they're scared, but they're still doing what they've been doing before. Um, I mean, I don't. I just think they're scared. But th that's basically it. They just keep on doing what they've been doing. Do you worry about people more than maybe you did when you first got to Auburn? Yeah, of course. Especially since I mean, Belgium's a small country, and um, I live near Brussels, 50 minutes away. So my all, like my family, my friends, they're all near Brussels. So I think they should maybe like I told them to avoid public places and areas. To, What's the biggest difference between the Brussels area and Auburn? <sighs> uh, it's, it's a whole different world. Like everything, society, food, everything, literally everything. Like the way people are, everything. Now, have, have you and uh, Max, how much do y'all talk about what happened? We haven't talked that much about it. Um, I mean, he lives near Brussels as well. 
um, and his family is all right and his friends are all right um, but like as we like as I said we're just shocked basically it's still like I haven't processed it properly yet I think I, I don't think I like know what what has happened already I think I need to process it a little more before I can uh, just to make sure you know every, every all your friends and, and family are okay. Yeah, all of them are right. Yep. Yep. Thank you very much. Man. No problem.